My only point is that the Republicans offer no resistance to what Obama wants. We'll find out just how willing he is to take the country over the cliff. And I, all I'm saying is, is that all these people saying he doesn't want to take us over the cliff. He's worried about his second term legacy. He doesn't want two million new unemployed. He doesn't want that written about him. Let's find out. And you can't find out by negotiating with him. Do that. You're going to get played for a fool. That is um, my theory. Look, before the election, a number of us were of the belief that we're headed for a second recession anyway. A double dip, right? Because of policies already in play and because of the reluctance to modify any of them to fix what, what harm they're causing. Now, he'd love to be able to say that this coming recession is the fault of the Republicans. My point is he's going to anyway. My point is the Democrats are going to anyway. So, prove me wrong. I could be I could be very wrong. Maybe Obama does care about his second term. Maybe he does care about his legacy. Maybe he doesn't want a whole bunch of new unemployment. Maybe he doesn't want a recession. One sure way of finding out is to let him own this. Let him take us wherever we're headed. He once said that the Republicans drove the car in a ditch, right? That we're not qualified to drive it. Okay, fine. Take him at his word. We get out of the car. We'll pull it out of the ditch. We'll put him in a driver's seat. We'll wave, and he'll see us in the rearview mender, uh, rear view mirror as he heads toward the cliff. And we'll see if he stops or goes over. Do we have the courage to do that? I don't know that we'll ever find out, but that's what I would do. But I'm just a radio guy.